interesting product right here. I'm gonna be feeling like a Bond girl because this is a spy camera. It is a Tusion Win brand. I'm gonna show it up close to you right, like right there. It's basically a smart charger, but it's not that easy, right? It's not just a smart charger. It is a camera which looks like a smart charger, right? This is just so impressive how far technology have went. You can use it to spy on uh, people, pets, relatives, other people, I don't know, to spy on anyone you want to. Um, and this uh, thing will just look like a regular charger plugged in into the wall and nobody will be suspicious of anything. How cool is that? Okay, so let's um, take it out. Let's see what's in the box. Okay, I have seen it before when we received it. Um, here, how it comes, it comes with all the cords. So the good thing is that it comes with like five other different things. It comes with all the cords you basically need to transfer data from it, to connect the SD card to your computer or phone. It has all those adapters and it has all those like things which will help you make your life easier and you don't need to find them in any other, also this little thing, to access things easier. So you don't really need to buy anything separately. It comes with everything and I really like it. So this is how the smart charger itself looks like. Just like a regular charger, right? You don't really see the camera, don't you? You just see the charging port and you can see the stuff which goes into the wall when you plug it in. But, but there is actually a camera, it's not really noticeable from the distance um, and it's made specifically to be kind of hidden. Um, this camera is using an SD card to collect memories, right? So the SD card doesn't come in a package, just to clarify, you gotta have your own SD card, but um, it has a lot of other stuff which helps you transfer the um, data to your phone or to your um, computer. So just an SD card is what you need. Uh, it supports an SD card with up to 256 gigabyte, which is like um, class 10 or above, which is really good. So it can collect a lot of files. It can hold a lot of memories. But to make sure when the SD card runs out of space, the new files will start to overrun over the old files. So the old files will start getting deleted and the new files will start to be prioritized. But uh, make sure to just uh, clear the SD card on time and um, refresh it, you know, take out all the data you need and make sure there is enough space right there, right? They have um, put a dog right here. Um, you probably can use it to like, you know, spy on your pets, which is really fun. If you want to know what your pet is doing when you're at work, I think it's really cool. Or if you have like a babysitter or a nanny, right? And you just want to know what happens when you're not there. How is your child feeling? How is everything at the house? Um, it's a really cool stuff to not be like, you know, too obvious and to not make people uncomfortable, but still to have some information for yourself. Um, yeah, and make sure to remove the protective film. I have I have already done it because I have used it um, to make sure how it's working, but don't forget to do it if you just got the product. It's very easy to use. So you basically just need to open this, um, this stuff over here and it will have a place for an SD card right here. And we need to pull the SD card out um, to get the information out of the camera, but we will not be doing it now because we need to test it, right? So I was just showing you. We will close it back. It's really easy, just clips on, nothing too hard. And we will connect it to, like, let's say, a plug-in. Okay, we've put it on, we've connected it. You don't really see anything happening, but it's working. Um, and uh, it will be recording stuff right now, okay? I'll be moving things around. We'll try to record something. Uh, meanwhile, I'll just remind you that once you unplug it, okay, 
um, you got to give it at least a couple minutes before taking the SD card out. So no, no files get, you know, uh, corrupted, you know, just, just three, five seconds, just some extra time. So everything gets properly stro stored, just like with any device. Um, and then you have to plug it in in a correct position. So this thing, the, the charging point should be on top, not below. Okay, just like this, this is the correct position. Um, and also just make sure you don't uh, really connect too much of devices for long time for charging be because you want to avoid overheating. Because first of all, it is a camera. It's more of a camera rather than a charger, right? It's a little more than a regular charger. It has uh, additional things in there to function. It has additional like parts and stuff like that. So just make sure to not um, connect devices to its USB port um, to avoid, you know, overheating and over, um, over, over pressuring the device itself because it's a camera first and it basically imitates a charger but it still can charge your devices right so it's not suspicious but just um, for your convenience and uh, for a proper usage of a device make sure to not overheat it um, yeah so make 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 maybe make sure that it is used often just put the cord beside it to like you know make it more realistic um it does not record audio just to make sure right it's just a video camera it does record um like movement and things like that it doesn't record audio because uh, there are some policies okay amazon actually doesn't allow to sell devices which record both audio and video so just for your understanding there are no such devices sold on amazon so only devices which record video or audio and this one is for video purposes um, this stuff does not require Wi-Fi or app, which is really cool. Um, it's just working by itself. Even if there is no Wi-Fi in the apartment, it, it will be recording stuff and storing it on a card. And then you can just take it out and download everything which has been recorded. It also has two modes of recording. And I will show you a little switch inside of it, which helps to uh, move uh, between modes. There is mode L and there is mode M. Mode L is basically recording everything, okay? And mode M is only recording um, motion, okay? It's reacting to a motion movement. So if somebody walks into the room or moves inside of a room, the camera will actually start recording. And I think it's a really cool feature because um, you will avoid over like having too much of footage. You know, you will avoid being left with like uh, hours and hours of footage of an empty apartment if you particularly want to spy on someone doing something there, right? So it's really convenient. You can actually put it into a mode that it will start recording only if someone moves in front of it. And you will just have the footage of actual people or animals um, in front of the camera. Um, and really cool. Yeah, I think it's quite convenient. Um, what else is really important? What else is really important? That, yeah, so continuous recording is also good, right? If, for example, you want to spy on your sleeping dog, <laughs> I don't know, uh, or you just want to make sure that you don't miss anything, um, depends on your needs pretty much. But I think motion detection is the most um, convenient one. Um, the, also, it has a time setting, right? So you can actually change the date and time in the minute, month, uh, date, year format um when you are connecting it to your computer so the videos can actually like the, the date on them can be actually changed which is super spyish isn't it um also importantly you can use a couple ways of accessing the data on the sd card you can basically just connect the camera itself to the cord and to the computer or you can take out the sd card put it into um, like an adapter and then connect the SD card itself to the computer or the phone. Um, this thing comes with the phone adapters um, and it's really cool because like you know if you don't have a computer or you don't have it on hand right and you really want to see what's going on you can actually like 
attach it to a phone uh, connector and attach it to your phone and download directly into your phone, which is kind of cool, isn't it? Um, so yeah, there are a couple methods. Um, and it also has a reset button located inside of it. I'm going to show it to you really um, fast in a minute. Okay, so let's just um, try to see how we will um, extract the data from it. We'll unplug it. We'll wait for three or five seconds, just as I said before, <laughs> to make sure that no files get corrupted. Meanwhile, I'll just show you the box once more right away. And the camera is um, attached, the product is attached to the live stream, so you can go and check it out. Okay, now we need to take out our SD camera. We just pull out this thing right here. If you have nails, it will be easier. If you don't, it has this little tool right here to make things easier for you. And then we will be using it to get our SD card out. It just pops out like that. I don't know if you can see it really well. Um, so here is the switch. I'll show it to you meanwhile. Here is the switch between the uh, L and M modes. So motion and just continuous mode. And here is a little reset button. You will need the tool to access it. And you just take out the SD card. Make sure you don't scratch the camera with your nails. I can do it sometimes. Close it. We'll put it right here. Okay. And now I will just try to connect it to my computer. See if we can do it this way. Up. Okay, I don't need too much of adapters, as you can see. <laughs> Video, okay. Do we have something? Oh, here we are. We have a, a video of my apartment. Okay, I have been moving it around a lot. And video of my phone. Yeah, probably shouldn't move the stuff too much. <laughs> you can't really see anything when you're moving things, but it is quite convenient. And you can access the videos right away, um, which I like. Okay, so I have been using the um, the SD card reader and the um, this type of a device, which is where you install insert the, the SD card and then insert it in the computer. But you can also um, just connect this thing with a cord to your computer and um, just directly download stuff without taking the SD card out, which is really convenient. Um, and also, again, if you're using a phone adapter, you can connect the SD card and the camera itself to your phone and access the files on it through your phone, which is really cool. Yeah, so this type of thing is really convenient. It comes with a manual instruction. It comes with a lot of like cords and adapters and things like that. Um, and um, it spies really well. It doesn't look suspicious to me at all. I actually have similar stuffs for charging, just regular chargers. And um, I think if you're not a uh, James Bond or some real spy, you probably wouldn't really guess what that is. So yeah, really, really convenient little device which records on different modes and really easy. The cool thing is that it doesn't rely on Wi-Fi, right? Because you can plug it in wherever you want, right? Even if you come to a space um, or I don't know what it is, Airbnb, or if, 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 if the Wi-Fi gets cut off throughout the day, you still get all the footage, which is convenient. If someone takes like turns off the Wi-Fi, for example, it still records. So it's really, really... Mm, convenient. Um, so basically all you need is just to have a plugin to unsuspiciously put it into the wall <laughs> and spy on people, pets and kids, I don't know. So I hope this was uh, helpful. Again, this brand is Tucson Win. I hope I pronounce it right. Uh, it's a really fancy name. So the smart charger slash camera, uh, this is what we were looking at today. I hope it was quite uh, helpful to you. I shared all the facts about it, which might, um, might be really um, important if you're choosing a device of this type. And um, 
yeah hopefully if you need stuff like that check it out it has a really good price it has really nice reviews and uh, yeah this is how it looks you have seen it up close now so make a decision if you need that uh, type of thing i had a lot of fun using it i'll probably try installing it in my apartment and seeing what it can record i don't think anything suspicious actually happens here but you know just in case again thank you for being with us it was tu sion win a spy smart charger camera and uh, take care guys thank you for attention and have fun don't don't forget to follow the deal stories on amazon we show a lot of different interesting products to our viewers take care we are here on tuesdays from seven till eight and it was danielle bye bye